today we're going to check out the brand new Matrobox 2 Pro from Sonicake. I've been actually studying it for the last few weeks. It's got so many features. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there showing just everything. I'm going to probably just concentrate mostly on the presets today because they're just so fantastic as is. Uh, their amps just straight out, their amp models are great just to use them alone. You could use their amp patches, just add a little reverb or something if you want, maybe a little delay in the back. It's very easy. Um, there's different modes. There's two different basic modes to this thing. Stomp box mode and preset mode. Today we're going to use preset mode. We're going to just scroll through the presets and um, I'm going to just show you how incredibly useful they are. Some of the more powerful uh, lead sounds and you know hard rock sounds, punk sounds. It can be used right into the PA. You could come to a gig with just this. Um, there's a lot of different outputs. You could go XLR out, you could go stereo out, a uh, quarter inch out. There's um, an expression pedal built in. There's also an expression pedal uh, output in case you want to add a second expression pedal. Um, and there's firmware and software and you can always uh, sort of tweak the sounds on your computer if you like and just kind of fine tune them on the unit. Um. Alright, let's start with the back. The back has got all the outputs, the power on and off switch. It's good to have that uh, on the unit. Not all of these things do. You can just click this on. It does a little cool little light show for you when it turns on and stuff. Uh, you know, shows its uh, little logo and stuff. Very cool. Um, it comes with a power supply, you know, good quality power supply. Um, you also get a USB-C port. You could hook it up to the computer. It does all sorts of MIDI things. Um, I think you have to get MIDI cables for that. There's uh, no MIDI cables with it. I'm not really a MIDI guy, so I'm not going to uh, get too into that. Uh, there's a headphone out, so you could use this thing and listen to all the cool stereo delays and reverbs ping-ponging back and forth in stereo while you use it, you know, just practicing silently. It's uh, really good for that, to use like as a, you know, headphone amp kind of thing in your room. You put on a good set of, you know, quality phones and, you know, it's like this wall of marshals with these stereo effects bouncing back and forth. It's actually really glorious. You could hear some of these sounds just straight out of the box are fantastic, but if you really want to take advantage of the unit, you have to tailor the sounds a little bit. You take their preset and you add a little something, you detract this, you know, you don't like the uh, slap back, take the slap back off. Uh, you want a different uh, amp or cabinet, you could add that. Um, and the sounds start blooming and blossoming and they start sounding even better. You know, it gets that Kemper-like, uh, really roaring distortion. Um, it's all digital, but it sounds fantastic. Uh, you'll hear for yourself. Um, I suggest listening to a lot of demos because I'm going to touch mostly on the presets today. Mostly useful sounds, heavy lead sounds, uh, funk sounds, just really great heavy rock sounds today. You've got, yeah, your headphones, you've got the XLR outputs, which basically, you know, you, you've got a left and a right, so you could go out stereo um, for a gig, which is really cool. So if you have those stereo effects running, um, they'll run live, which is really incredible. You'll get these cool stereo um, delays and reverbs ping-ponging across the hall, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, there's an effects loop. So you can put an actual effect in there if you want to put something else. Uh, there's an expression pedal for a second pedal, or you know, it comes with one. Okay, don't forget, you have to keep the volume pedal down to the toe position, otherwise you're not going to hear the matcher box. Uh, that's full volume when you've got it down in toe position. You pull it down towards the heel, the sound goes off. Okay, we've got 63 amplifiers uh, all the amplifier models are really good, at least the ones I've tried. I haven't tried them all, but I tried some of the really, you know, classic ones like the SLO. I tried the, the Tweed. Um, there's a Super Lead. Um, all, all the heavy stuff sound great, and they're a great place to start. Also, if you don't want to start with presets, 
just pick out an amp, pick out a cat, uh, cabinet, add a touch of reverb, um, you know, a little delay if you want to. They sound good dry too. There's uh, 20 spots for you to uh, upload your own impulse responses to. If you have some, uh, you know, some of your own, there are spaces where you could uh, load those up to. Uh, although their cabinets seem to mesh really well with their amplifiers, they just sort of bring out the best of them. There's a metronome feature, you can use that, or you could use just use the drum machine. Uh, there's a lot of beats. I think there's a hundred drum beats in there. Um, and it's, it's an actual drum machine. Uh, there's a 90 second looper and, um, I'm not going to get into the looper. It's pretty easy to use the looper. You've got, uh, about 240 preset slots. You can store and you could change all those presets, you know, remove them, uh, alter them and make your own. Um, that's actually a really good way to jump into this system is just hit their presets, alter them a little bit, and then just hit save. Now, when you're hitting those two buttons to change the mode, uh, that's the bank buttons, minus and plus. You're hitting them together. You're going to see right here, preset mode. It's going to tell you what mode you're in. So there's no guessing. Stomp box mode, preset mode. Okay. You're in that preset mode. All you got to do is tap on one of these little modules. You want a different amp, you want a different cabinet, you just pick it. You tap on it and you start getting into it. Um, choose your amp, choose your cabinet, choose your reverb. Um, whatever you want, you could throw it in there. And then you're going to go back to the save button right over there. And you've got a sound. Uh, most of the sounds are so great, you don't really need to alter them that much. But you know, some of them are a little overdone. There's a few of them that have slap back that I wanted to take the slap back off and stuff. Okay, so we tap on our effect and we scroll through the button that's right underneath it. There's an arrow pointing to that, going to that. Okay. Dock the cue and overdrive. Soldano lead, Soldano overdrive, British. ATM, there's JTM 45. These are all the amps. British 800, that's a good one. JCM 800. You pull up, pull up a cabinet. 412. Yeah, that's good. Save. Then you have to assign it a name. It's pretty easy. You just type it in and hit save. Okay, let's activate the tuner. The A and the B button, it's marked with a little tuning fork. Hit them both together. Super easy tuner, very steady, easy to use. Um, tuning up the uh, Paul Reed Smith Custom 22 hardtail. And we're going through a Seriotone Son of Yeti combo. Now I've got it on the preset mode. And we can scroll through our presets here. We've got, you can see, number one, Matrabox. This is bank one. Uh, B, Love of God. Heavy metal, metal two, super clean. So let's, let's scroll through some of these presets and uh, we're gonna alter them. We'll add a little reverb or uh, some delay and uh, make them our own. It'll make it sound much better. Okay, let's say you wanna choose a reverb. You're gonna tap on the effects button to the right, look for the effects, tap on it. All your effects pop up. You could scroll through it either with the menu or with your fingers. The touch screen, either way, there's fingers way. Hit the reverb. Once you activate the reverb, you're gonna see all the different choices of reverbs you can use. Yeah, that's the other way. Instead of your finger, use the menu. Okay, once I get to reverb, I can push the button. Okay, now I look underneath the reverb, that little arrow. That, right, the arrow that's underneath it, that middle button, there it is, Kev. That's gonna choose which reverb you've got. A plate reverb, a spring, big sky, modulated, a shimmer reverb.
Hey, this is the first uh, 1A slot, Matrobox 2 Pro. <laughs> Next pass, let's bring it down to Love of God. I'm just tapping on it. Okay, it's got some more delays going on. Next patch is called Heavy Metal. Oh, that's hot. Nice harmonics. Okay, she needs a little tuning up, right? Okay, so let's press these two buttons together. We've got our tuner. Okay, press any button to get out of tuner button mode. Just press a button and you're back out. All right, so we were on heavy metal there before, right? Yes. Let's go to heavy metal two. Very different. This one's got some slap back. Some flanger too. tight gate, there's a noise gate on there.
nice gate. A little slap back too. A little flanger. That's a great sound. or something. <laughs> Go clean. Nice. A little flanger too.
check it out. The next one is called the Crusher. Crusher. No. Kind of like a Jimmy Page slapback sound.
patch called Rose. Rose. What's Rose? Is that a fuzz? Okay, another short delay. Very cool. What is ZZ Top? First album. And a Gilmore too. Fuzz, simply fuzz. Thank you. 